Canadian singer-songwriter Leslie Feist is leaving the Arcade Fire tour in the UK. It's over allegations of sexual misconduct against Arcade Fire frontman Wynne Butler. Feist says she can't go on with the tour given the allegations. So for more on the situation, let's go live to CBC's senior entertainment reporter Eli Glasner. So what are we hearing from Leslie Feist? Yeah, she posted a lengthy uh, statement on Instagram, Arthi, uh, saying that this has been incredibly difficult for her, wishing healing to all who are involved, and saying that her experience has been similar to the experience of many, and really identifying with what she describes as a spectrum that ranges from toxic masculinity all the way to sexual assault. But saying bluntly on this Instagram post made just a little while ago that she can't continue, that she has to figure out the best way to take care of herself, her crew, and her band. And, and it was interesting, I think a very poignant part where she said it was actually in the performance of her music on stage in Dublin where she has been opening for Arcade Fire. That's what led her to this decision. Let's uh, take a look. I'm going to read you part of her statement. She says, the last two nights on stage, my songs made this decision for me. Hearing them through this lens was incongruous with what I've worked to clarify for myself through the, my whole career and so she says she is claiming her responsibility something she has sung about in her songs as a very kind of strong independent uh, uh, rock star and uh, she is going home now as you mentioned this stems out of a report that was published in Pitchfork a music news publication for people making allegations against the lead singer of Arcade Fire Wynn Butler CBC News has not independently verified these allegations they have not been proven in court there are no criminal charges, but the allegations reported in Pitchfork range from unsolicited uh, text messages to photos to allegations of forceful touching and certainly situations and allegations of an uneven power dynamic. And I think it's worth pointing out, I mean, you see the footage there from Dublin uh, from the previous evening. You see Wynn uh, playing on stage with the band, a, a band where he performs on stage with his wife. Now, I should also point out that Wynn has denied all these allegations. He says, all the encounters were consensual. He never touched a woman against her will. And he has, in fact, apologized to anyone. He says he is hurt with his behavior. Now, Eli, these allegations against Butler, they've surfaced, uh, oh, a few days ago now. So wondering what sort of reaction we've seen. Uh, we saw Feist pulling out of the tour. What else has happened? Well, we have seen some radio stations essentially hitting pause on their Arcade Fire uh, playlists and removing them from the rotation. Uh, we'll start with our own. Here, CBC Music, they've decided to stop playing Arcade Fire for the moment. The same can be said for Indie 88, very popular Toronto rock station where typically you would hear Arcade Fire, I imagine a number of times per day, and they have also removed uh, Arcade Fire from their rotation. And really, I think this goes to the quandary for fans. When you think of Arcade Fire, I mean, this is in Canada, indie rock royalty, one of the most successful bands to come out of this country in the past couple decades. And, you know, they have these songs with such spirit, where they sing about humanity and they sing about rebellion. And now what do fans do with these allegations? I'll give you a great example. Kate McCreesh has seen Arcade Fire nine times. She lives in Dublin. She had tickets to a show, but when she heard about these allegations, she herself decided she couldn't continue. Take a look. I can't go and enjoy myself knowing what the accusations are. And I, I just, I couldn't stand there and support Wynn Butler. I'd love to support the rest of the band, but I can't support him and enjoy myself. Meanwhile, Arcade Fire is scheduled to continue their world tour until December, where they will come home to Montreal. Thanks for this, Eli. That is CBC's Eli Glasner in Toronto.